A normal pregnancy is said to last from 37 to 42 weeks gestation. Most women will give birth to their babies during this time frame, but a very small percentage will go longer, and it can be a very frustrating and worrying time. Most women will be advised by their midwife or consultant to have their labour induced. For some women, though, a booked induction isn't the answer for them, and they will resort to numerous therapies, foods and treatments in order to go into labour on their own. We had a hot curry. I think I've overdosed on curry because I made myself sick the other week. <laughs> Taking lots of raspberry leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having my raspberry leaf tea, which apparently is... Uh, uh, and I never had that with Stephanie, but it's a, a thing that I only found out about this time around that apparently from, you know, when you're supposed to take it, that it's, that's supposed to help. Go out for a walk, you know, have sex, do whatever. And I've had the warm baths with lavender oils in, like they say, is another thing. I went into the hospital uh, for a membrane sweep. I've tried exercise, going up the stairs sideways, some of my friends have said, another friend has told me to eat fresh pineapple. <laughs> I've tried everything. And if you have nerves of steel like Georgina, you might like to wait a whole month longer. It was great. I had a really healthy pregnancy. Um, I had a long pregnancy. She was, um, she was 27 days late after her due date. Um, and I had a home birth, which was a really great experience. And as each day passed by, how did Georgina cope? We understood the induction process, we understood the pros and cons of continuing the pregnancy. And it, it did get to the point where it was like, well, I'll just go this week till Friday and then we'll reassess. And then on Friday think, oh, well, we'll just see what happens over the weekend. And then Monday, oh, surely this week. And then, you know, by 43 weeks you're thinking, oh, I was thinking, well, if it's not here by the end of the month. I was really thinking, well, this is getting a bit silly. A bit ridiculous. But, you know, she came. With such a long pregnancy, some obstetricians and midwives would be concerned that the placenta could be failing, but not in George's case. The placenta was huge. I just remember the midwife going, look at this, and it was just this huge placenta. So it seems, it doesn't seem unreasonable that, you know, it happened that way. Not content with one long pregnancy, Georgina narrowly missed her record by two days with baby Beatrice. 25 days overdue. Yeah, I know, it's ridiculous, but there you go. We knew to expect the baby to come late, but, you know, people talk about psychological blocks to go into labour. So I'd convince myself that maybe I was, it was my fault, I was holding the baby back, and, and, because, and so I had a, a higher expectation that the pregnancy would be shorter and it wasn't. 